How's it going? I'm going to review the second of my EDC torches, this being the LED Lenser P3 mini uh, single AAA torch. Um, I keep this in a little um, uh, Maxpedition Micro EDC kit. The purpose of this light is very much of a backup light and to be honest I don't really use it a great deal and I'm thinking of reassessing where I keep it. I'm probably just going to upgrade it to a pocket torch I think. Perhaps just keep it in the shirt pocket. It's so light and so small that you really don't notice it and I don't find myself delving into my little EDC kit enough and I find myself making do often with the light on my iPhone which isn't ideal because then you have to slide up that bottom menu and there's a few steps to that and uh, the less you sort of want to use your iPhone walking around in the middle of the night the better because the less inclined you are to drop it I think. At any rate um, it's a single a single battery sort of high economy very cheap little torch made by Leather Lenser which for a sister company of Leatherman I think Leather Lenser's products are German made um, and this one is a very basic no frills model of lead lenser. So it comes with a little pocket clip which is a clip-on type. Uh, it's not as good as the screw-on ones. It comes separately and you sort of have to push it around the side of the tool which kind of for you know I, I'm not too bothered because these things do get dinged up but it did actually chip a little of the black coating off so you can see there next to my thumb. Just little places like that kind of bothered me a little bit but anyway uh, it's got a little push button at the back, sort of one of those spongier rubbery ones, although it's quite firm. And the nature of this light is a very small either flood or well that's flood. <laughs> you can see the sort of halo ring that comes around. Flood or focus. And what it's got is, you see I'm pulling back slightly so it's a little one hand operational focusing system, just like on your on your bigger mag lights or on your bigger LED lenses. Uh, say I've got the LED lens P7 which looks like a big version of this and functions in a fairly similar way. It's a very nice clean circle of light. Um, it's quite bright for what it is. Um, and when you pull it back it stays like with a very very defined border. Uh, you can f when you sort of when you lose the focus and use the flood, the flood does work a little bit yeah I guess it's a bit more of a flood light. I do prefer to have a little um, focused circle. I find it's easier to, when you're looking through things, you can sort of, say if you've got a bit of a messy drawer or something, you can scan and look at only what's lit up by the light if you're looking for something in there. That's how I generally find myself using it, which is really quite cool. So it's a, um, a yeah, about a $20 torch generally. Um, that's how much it set me back in Australia, which is, you know, so it might even be a $10 torch in America. Um, it's got a 16 lumen bulb. So 16 lumens, that's not a great deal. Um, my mag light is 172 lumens. Uh, however, for something that you keep in your pocket that you'll be using for things like finding things in drawers, uh, perhaps behind your TV to find the right um, you know the right cable outlets and things like that. Uh, that's really all you need for the for the purpose. Uh, the range is 31 meters. Uh, the weight of this thing with a battery in it is uh, 35 grams. 35 grams, yeah. And the last seven hours, um, if I was to just turn it on, turn it on and leave it. My overall uh, thoughts on this torch are that it's fairly high value. Having seen some other small torches, I probably would have saved another $10 perhaps, or $20 and gone for one of those 4.7's uh, quarks. I think they look a bit better and they're definitely stronger in the lumen count and they've got an integrated pocket clip. However, if all you have to spend in Australia is $20 or in America is $10, you could definitely do a lot worse. Um, the competition for these micro torches, um, you're looking at things like the uh, Phoenix uh, E01 or the Phoenix A1, uh, the Mini Mag lights, and they're all they all put out about the same. But um, I would really, if I could do it again, I'd probably go up a up a grade entirely to the sort of the more powerful micro torches, as I mentioned by four sevens. For about forty or fifty dollars in Australia, you can get one of those with a hundred lumen beam, and um, I figure why not. Goes a little extra bit of candle power. 
Um, so yeah, the lead lens are P3. It comes in a really nice package, which I've since thrown away. Apparently, there's a um, there's a market for uh, counterfeit ones. I'm not sure if that's just propaganda spread by lead lens to make their make their products seem a bit low, a bit more um, a bit more desirable or not. But there you have it. Just for size comparison, that's the P3 next to a um, a bit quieter, and uh, this is the P3 next to my Magrat XL XL 200. So. <laughs> so it is definitely a, a smaller light. And that's all I've got for you in regards to the little ends of P3. Review is never going to set the world on fire and neither was the torch. However, if you're looking through a few options and you've come across this review, that's what you get for the little ends of P3. Thanks for watching. See ya.